What's going on, everybody? It's the Fly Fishing Ninja, and I am back. A um, couple things I'm going to do today. I'm actually going to do an unboxing and talk about a new Tenkara rod I am trying out. Uh, but first of all, I had some things uh, asked on yesterday's video that I just want to kind of go over really quick and get some stuff cleaned off. I'm going to be tying a lot of soft tackles. So there is a partridge cape. <clears throat> Um, here's what I want to talk about. I had somebody ask me about the level line that I use. Uh, you know, what size level line I use, if I use a tippet ring and things like that. I actually use level line and it's 3.5 level line. It's actually new from Dragon Tail. It's pretty awesome stuff. Then you go down and I go from my level line to my tippet. I use a double surgeon's knot for that. Then you continue to go down and, sorry, I got kind of a, I didn't know the line was all tangled right there. Okay, there we go. You go down, you got a little tippet ring. I use the small ones. I do like the small tippet rings and to attach to my tippet ring, I just used just your basic uh, clinch knot, you know, an improved clinch knot. Then you go down, I'd say 20 inches or so, and I've just got an orange soft hackle tied on for now, which is on a size 12 moonlit barbless hook. And the uh, tippet I'm using is actually uh, moonlit. 5X tippet, <clears throat> which is four pound test of fluorocarbon. So that's how I set up my tin car line. So now let's get to the unboxing. We're actually going to try to put this line over here because we're going to use it on the new tin car rod. So let's see if we can set it down and not get it all tangled. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Yeah. You know, I have been waiting for Dragon Tail to come out with this rod for a while now. I have actually been putting off buying another Tinkara rod because I've been waiting to try this rod out. And of course, the weather got really crappy here. So, that's what we got. <clears throat> Dragon Tail. The green tube, your green heart tube, it's, they're awesome. All right, let's pull this thing out. See what we got here. I love the color. I do. I know it's like, it's just the color. It doesn't help you catch fish or anything, but I like the color of the rod. So, <clears throat> rod sock, just extra protection in the tube. All right, so Dragon Tail before, they would use an end cap that slid down inside the end of the tube or the rod, but now they're using these kind of end caps that just pop right off. Yeah, this thing is absolutely beautiful. It is the Dragon Tail Hydra ZX390. Um... Here's the, here's the cool, some cool things about this rod. I kind of have everything down right here so I can read it. Um, this rod actually zooms between two lengths. You get 13 foot and 11.5 feet. And the way it does that is <clears throat> right in here in the first section of the rod, this long section, there is a spot that's just a little thicker than the rest of the section. And that spot actually snugs up. You don't have to twist it. You don't have to try to lock it in place. Just by giving it a little push down, you're going to get that um, that 11.5 feet instead of 13 feet. Now, the Dragon Tail Shadow Fire that I have is 12 feet. You can't really use it at any other length. I mean, you can, but it's not. It's it's just not the way you're supposed to use it. But with this, it's got this little little bump in here. 
um, it, it's it's pretty nice, really. I mean, it snugs in there pretty good. Um, you're not you're not casting a Tenkara rod really hard, so you're not going to have to worry about it coming apart. Um, another thing they did, I'm actually going to get my dragon tail out real quick, my shadow fire, because I want to show you guys something that they did different with this one, and I really like it. You know, different rod sock, as you can see, than before. Okay, so, here's what they did, and here's the end cap that they did on the shadow fire. Okay. Now, you can see the Lillian here. You see how the Lillian is just directly on the rod tip? Okay, it's just glued on there, basically. Um, what they did with this one, which I really like this idea, is they put a piece of metal on there to hold on the rod tip better. So it's way more secure. The, the Lillian is held on there way more secure than with the Shadow Fire, I think, which I think is a really good idea. <clears throat> so now, a few more things about this rod. It is a soft action rod, a 6.4. It's got a 6.4 action. Um, all carbon fiber. It collapses down to 21 inches. The handle length is 13, or excuse me, 10.3 inches. It's got nine segments that come out, is what it has. So each segment, you've seen me extend my rod before. Uh, that's what she said. Um... Matte black finish, which is awesome. I, I like the matte black a lot better. Uh, it is made by Dragon Tail, as you can see, and they are my favorite. I absolutely love them. Uh, so, here's what we need to do. I do not have things really set up right now to put this line on. The Lillian doesn't even have the stopper knot in it yet. So, I'm just going to tie a small stopper knot. In this, and to do that, you just tie an overhand knot. Just a real simple overhand knot. It doesn't have to be any kind of fancy knot. This Lillian actually seems a little shorter than the other one on the dra on the Shadow Fire. I, you have no idea how excited I am about this rod. I haven't even used it yet, and I already know I'm going to buy it. Yeah, I already know I'm going to end up buying this rod. It's really nice. Plus, I just love Dragon Tail's product. I really do. You know, and it's not only about the product. It's about the customer service you get. And that's a huge thing for me. You know, you got to have good customer service. All right, we got our little stopper knot in there. Just a little tiny stopper knot. All right. So, let me find the end of my line here. Okay, I also need to grab a line holder. New line holder, new rod. And this just pops right on here. There we go. Good fit. Good. This thing, it's nice because it does fit the line holders I like, which is really nice. Of course, the only Tenkara rod that I have where the line holder doesn't fit right is my 24-footer, uh, which, you know, that makes sense that it would not fit. The base of that thing is ridiculous. So, but I do have my level line all ready to go here. So... All ready to go. I've already got, you know, I did the video yesterday about the slip knot that I like to use. So we got that ready. Get our Lillian out here. <clears throat> Some people do like two turns around the stopper knot with the Lillian but I've never had an issue. So that is it. That's it. 
this rod is ready to fish. So get my line wrapped around here. Okay. Yeah, this is a super nice rod. And I really, I can't wait to get out there and, and use it and everything. It's just, you know, the weather took a really quick turn for the worst, you know. And I don't mind fishing in crappy weather. It's just, you got to kind of be ready for it. And last year we had so much snow. We were snowed in for days. And this year we're actually getting our first snowfall. And... It's January. That's it. This thing is ready to fish. I am so excited. I can't wait to actually get out there and use it. So, there's another gentleman that did a blog. Or a vlog. or A uh, vlog would be video. He did a blog on this rod. And it's really good. He did uh, some... I'll put the, uh, the link to it down in the description. But when I finally fish with this rod, I will make a video. So definitely keep an eye out for that. <clears throat> because this thing is it's pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. But I want to thank everybody for watching. If you have any more questions about this rod, I'll put a link to their website in the description so you can buy it. And let me see, I'll just tell you how much it is. Holy crap. Holy crap, guys. You can buy this thing for $99. $99.99 will get you this rod with the rod sock and the rod tube. And the end cap. $99. Hold on, let me show you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. $99.99. All right, so you better buy it. You just got to buy it. I mean, if you're new to Tinkara, I, I think this rod would be good for somebody who's new to it. But yeah, $99.99. Come on. And let's see. When you get it for $99.99, you get the rod and everything. But then, you know, they have their own level line, which is... Oh my gosh. So dragon tail level line. All right. I'm going to show you this right now. If you order their level line by January 10th from their website, from dragon tails website, instead of paying, uh, $19.99 for the level line, you're actually going to pay $9.99 for the level line. So for $108, you're set up to Tinkara fish because we all have, you know, leader line at tippet line hanging out. So, holy crap, $9.99 for the level line, their new level line, and $99.99 for the rod. Come on, get on their website. I will put a link in the description. Buy this rod and just check out all of other Dragon Tail stuff because they have an amazing product. The customer surface surface <laughs> service is amazing see normally people would go back and fix their little mistakes i don't do that so i like to keep everything in my videos so check it out check out dragon tail check out the new hydra zx 390 uh amazing rod check out their website get this rod for 99 dollars and 99 cents and get their new love 3.5 level line for $9.99. And make sure you check out Moonlit for Tippet, for their barbless hooks. Their barbless hooks are really nice hooks. I just started tying on them. So thanks again, everybody, for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Fly Fishing Ninja out.